this. Stain the rock. Oh, that's a yellowish. Okay. I always forget where is way out. Different cars, look around. What was this? Oh, there is. Good man. I don't have this type of car. Oh, but where's Skylar? Miss Sinclair is away on business. She sends her warmest regards. Right then. I don't like you, and I trust you even less. I'm only here because of what you said about Jules. If this is one of your tricks, we're about to find out just how blue that blood of yours is. I must confess I find your candor most refreshing, Mr. Devlin. In my line of work, honesty is the rarest of vices. Secrets are the currency of my profession. Your friend Jules was killed to protect a rather important secret. Did you know that? Dierker thought we were working for you. Perhaps, but Jules had to die in any case. He had seen too much, as did you. The Doppelseek factory. What's really going on up there? Are you familiar with the concept of atomic fission? Uh, I've never been one for poofy cocktails. I'm sure the barman will be relieved. 
But it's beside the point. Your friend Jules was killed to protect the secrecy of certain enemy plans. Plans which are critical to the German war effort. I intend to shatter those plans and to destroy the men behind them. How about it, Mr. Devlin? Up for another game? Aye. What'll it be this time? Miss Sinclair will return shortly to brief you on the next phase of the operation. If you can pull this one off, they'll give you the Victoria Cross. Ooh. Is that some sort of medal? The VC is my government's highest honor. Then I'll know what to whiten the arse with. Let's call it a case of scotch. Now you're talking. Cheers. Case of scotch. Alcoholic Sean Devlin. <laughs> Only fifty bucks. What now? What? Oh, Skylar is here. Skylar is here. Joking with you? <laughs> because of this smallest tree. Fuck you, game. Is there any other way? With my fucking boot up your ass!
Su mamu jebem usta. We should have booked a hotel room. <sighs> Naughty boy. I don't Naughty typically mix dog. business and pleasure, but sometimes I can't help myself. For a moment there, I thought you were dead. Not quite. But the bastards get an A for effort. If this isn't a social call, what are we talking about? You're going to help us take a man from a train, then drive the train over a cliff. Sounds like fun. Ever blown up a bridge? Not yet. Rolling thunder. Fast learner. Who's the punter? Dr. Klaus Kessler. Chief engineer for the Nazis' secret atomic weapons program, codenamed Volhor. The secret that got Jules killed. You were practically on top of Kessler's lab when you were captured. Bloody bad luck. Poor Jules. Bad luck for the fucking crowds. So what exactly is this? Kidnapping? Defection. Dr. Kessler wants to switch sides. The Nazis will kill him before they let that happen. So you want the crowds to think he's already dead? Spot on. When we destroy the train, the Nazis will assume Kessler has been assassinated. By the time they realize what really happened, Kessler will be in London, working for our side. Downright devious. That's Bishop style. Our first order of business is to wire the bridge with demolition charges. I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. Don't tell me you don't like to get dirty. You know better than that. I just like to see you work up a sweat. Halt, boy, appearing. Show us appearing. Yeah. That early. Are we there yet? It's not far now. Perhaps if you didn't drive like a geriatric on holiday. Bollocks. Geriatric on holiday. <laughs> Charges under the bridge where the structure looks weak. And to trigger them? The last charge goes on the tracks. It'll set off the rest when the train hits it. Bleeding diabolical. I'll be right back. Some of these struts have seen better days.
here we are. Oh man, I barely see through this darkness here. This looks like a good spot. Yeah. Always some bit. Mamut, i jebem, di sajming, ubijem jednu, pičku materinu. Another one, mamut, i jebem. Where is he? They're coming and coming, that's the problem. Idiot. 
20 bullets. Motherfucker. Materino, jebe mamu usta. Pičku materinu, these fucking controls. Ajde, šajzer u jedan jebe i mater kilovu. Why the padni opet? Perfect. Perfect by bullets. One more on the tracks now. Cox is waiting for us at the train station. Let's get moving. is the crowd's golden goose. Why risk sending him to France? He's here to convert the Paris Cyclotron for military use. They couldn't send somebody else? They did. The first engineer they sent died suddenly in his sleep. How'd you hear? I was lying next to him at the time. I thought you didn't mix business with pleasure. His pleasure. My business. So Bishop's got you turning tricks for him now? We're prepared to use any means necessary to stop the Nazis from acquiring an atomic bomb. I see. They handing out medals for that? Don't be an ass.
Come on. Still wearing that ratty old coat. <laughs> Wilcox is waiting for us at the train station. Let's get moving. Ah, pop the shish me, put it. You will go. Jesus, trouble. Why risk sending him? Why risk sending him? They couldn't send somebody else. They couldn't send somebody else. The first engineer they sent to me. Aren't you here? I was lying next to him. I was lying next to him. Thought you didn't mix business. Thought you didn't mix business with pleasure. Well, we have double voice. So bishops got you turning. So bishops got you turning. We're prepared to use any means necessary to stop the Nazis from acquiring an atomic bomb. I see. They handing out medals for that? Fuck. Shut up. Empty mammal. They handing out medals for that? Don't be an ass. Double voices. I the glue patrol, but I Materina. Lupo. Brate, minirat ću te sa makar crkom. Jebe mate. A u pičku materinu bi diskontrol sam. Just 
Make your report. The train will be arriving shortly. The target's in a private car near the locomotive. And the radio transmitter? And the caboose. You'll need to sever communications once you're aboard. Shite. This is getting complicated. I'll be waiting to pick you up near the bridge. Whatever happens, make sure that train reaches the river. Sean, if anything goes wrong, if you can't get Kessler out, kill him. You tell Bishop to go and shite. I'll get your boy out, but I'll not be your damn trigger man. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll have a train to catch. On it. Now to find the doctor. Boxing game. No, no trance. This is stupid. I can't aim with this shit.
Kessler's car. Kessler, you in there? <laughs> Hold tight. I'm coming back for you. There's no stopping us now. I'm running out of time. Kessler. Bishop sent you. Yeah, you Bishop okay? sends me almost to die because of you. Come I'm on. Sorry to hear that. to die. Uh, Dr. Kessler. Yeah. Got your passport? Yeah. Put it in his pocket. Oh my gosh, this this is beautiful. Beautiful explosion. Are we saved the world? 
Nicely done. Dr. Kessler, I presume? An honor to meet you. You've made a courageous decision. One day even your own country will thank you. I'm not doing this for my country. Or are yours? The crowds should be swarming all over this place. Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, Sean, I'm afraid there's been a change of plans. What happened? Our flight home has been cancelled. We'll need to stash Kessler somewhere in the city. At least until we figure out a way to get him out of the country. I know a place. I'll drive. Go to Slaughterhouse. Okay. Let's see where I am. Oh, man. All the city. How long before the crowds realize our boy wasn't on that train? We estimate it will take the better part of a week to sift through the wreckage and identify the bodies. We'll be gone by then. I'm afraid that is impossible. I'm not going anywhere without Maria. Excuse me? My daughter, General Eckhart, is holding her somewhere in Paris. He said he would let her go free once I had finished building his instruments of death. When he learns what has happened, he'll kill her. I'm sorry, Dr. Kessler. Your daughter was not part of the deal. I'll look into it once you're safely out of the country. This is not a negotiation. Without Maria, the deal is off. I will slit my own wrists before I build bombs for your government. Jesus, keep your knickers on, Doc. If your girl is here, we'll find her. So where is it that we're headed? I'll give you a hint. How do you like your steak? <laughs> Bloody, of course. Are you asking me to dinner? You always did have awful timing. Maybe later. But first we'll knock up a friend of mine. He can help us with Dr. Kessler. And your friend is a chef? I gather he fancies himself quite a renaissance man. I can't speak for his cooking, but he does live in a slaughterhouse. You keep peculiar company, Devlin. Perhaps it's time you found a better class of friends. I try, believe me, but the class of folks will have nothing to do with Come it. on, go! Yep. It's always this is like... Oh shit, it would have switched. There may be a mammal.
Why I must to go through here? I don't know. How this show up right now? Yeah. I couldn't so that's a more than them. Fuck you and your appearance. I know it. Almost there. You know better than you bring strangers here. Friends, they need a place to lay low for a few days. This is not an hotel. Nor a brothel. Oh, feeling a touch homesick, are we, darling? Ah, an English aristocrat. Does your father know you are here, girl? I expect he's too busy buggering the chambermaids. We Sinclairs are always up for a bit of rough. I'll vouch for her. And where are you? I'd mind me manners. She's got friends. Not the sort you want to cross. What does that mean? Do I have to fucking spell it out for you? She's a British agent. Why have you come here? You rubbed the lamp, Monsieur Godin. And voila, here I am to grant your heart's desires. You know who I am? <laughs> of course. We know all about you. I've even read your awful books. My superiors in London are your biggest fans, Luke. They'd like to offer you their help. What kind of help? Oh, guns, medicine, radio equipment, whatever you require. In exchange for your cooperation in certain covert operations. Ah, please excuse my poor hospitality, Lady Sinclair. Come, join us for a glass of wine. It seems we have much to discuss. We should go see what's bothering Veronique. She cannot be trusted. Who? Skylar? I won't argue with that. I never understood what you see in her. Look, Skylar and I... Well, it's complicated. Is this really what you wanted to talk about? No, of course not. Our friend Bryman has been listening in on German wire traffic. He tells me the whole city is buzzing about some scientist who went missing after some train accident. You don't say? It's time you told me what you've gotten yourself into. It's safer if you don't know. Do you not trust me? I, and I need you to trust me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Trust or not to trust, the question is here. How goes the revolution? We've got something special coming up. Something big. Might as well tell me now. You Frenchies never could keep a secret. Not yet. Soon. First, we gather our strength. I need to meet some friends of ours south of the river. We're going to need transit papers. And you want me to pay a visit to the Spaniard? <laughs> you have a business arrangement, no? Aye. But I can't say I trust the bastard. Go see Santos, my friend. Find me once you have the papers. Mm-hmm. 
I must go to the Santos boy. Come on, move. Come and move, Santy boy. What we have? Bridge killer. Mm. What about the ammo? Do we have the arm? Weapons, monsieur. Um, weapons, monsieur. Monsieur Sean. Okay, monsieur Sean, go to go outside somewhere. Oh, the race is far away. I don't want to try. It is far away. This is the Pope or somehow the monk. Uh, church, of course. This is my homeland. A new car, yes. You have been busy, Irishman. I hear many things. You should be more careful. For a man in your line of work, a reputation can be dangerous. The same can be said of black marketeers who do business on both sides of the pitch. I am a capitalist. I don't give a pig's arse what you call yourself. I need transit papers to operate south of the river. I see. And what business brings you to that part of our lovely city? No business of yours. You know how it works, Irishman. You do a favor for me, I do a favor for you. Name your price then. Five hundred countrymen. How much I have? The 
sure interest you in some personal protection? You must destroy something. So pretty, huh? Oh, lady, lady, I'm, you're also pretty, huh? Okay. Okay. Now, when I want something to destroy, no chance. That is the Murphy's law. You. Okay, off with you. Sean, I'm delighted to hear that you'll be attending our little soiree. We have so much catching up to do. Be a dear and give me a ride to the party. I'll be waiting at the indicated address. Don't be late. Yeah, okay. Okay, maybe. Maybe I will late. Maybe I will not. Who knows? Of course, barbed wire. Oh my. So <laughs> many. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, barbed wire is everywhere. No, it's yummy. And kill me, of course. I don't have 500. To be able to find more. Yeah, but uh, when I want to find, I can't. Unbelievable shit. Okay, Collect Kaiser convertible. Okay, Kaiser boy. Someone said Goering himself was on the train. We have this one. Goodman. Jerry's just because I sh
Ottimo. Ottimo, Joris. Mm. Down the hatch, as they say. Let's move. Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! I've got your new papers right here. Be careful down there, Irishman. You are headed for the most dangerous part of our beautiful city. I must go at the loose place. Louis boy, I'm coming. It makes me laugh. I got the transit papers. Now why don't you tell me what this is about? We are going to meet a man called Duval Mingo. He's no patriot. But he hates the Nazis, and he commands the loyalty of the rebels south of the River Seine. What's so important that you'd risk bringing together every rebel leader in the city? I won't discuss it here. For now, I can only say that you play a key role in our plans, Sean. I don't like being kept in the dark, Luke. Then come with me. We will go meet this man Mingo, then we will discuss what comes next. Salt of the Sea. Yacht in the car, boy. We can go in the car. Okay. Where are we headed? The Latin Quarter. We will rendezvous with Mingo at the Jardin du Plant. Seems I am not the only one getting into bed with the British Empire. 
What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> the lovely lady Sinclair is one dirty mix, eh? Veronique tells me the two of you are old friends. Veronique has a weakness for a little gossip. I am told English women are cold on the outside, but warm on the inside, no? I thought you were meant to be a classy bloke. Why don't we take Skylar and Veronique up to the half for this weekend? Italian wine tasting. Isn't there still a war on? Only more reason for some joie de vivre while we still can, huh? I won't argue with that. Now we'll find out if Santos earned his fee. Papiron, show the papers. No, shall we make it a foursome in La Havre? I'm sure Veronique would be delighted to have you and Skyler join us. Don't count on it. Oh, something I should know. Looks like we're almost there. Thank God. This is the place. Keep your eyes open. Something does not feel right. Okay, I keep my eyes on. What a bad night for meeting. Keep walking, your eyes. These streets can be dangerous after dark. Are you the one called Mingo? Who is asking? Luke Godin. Ah, the big man himself. <laughs> Come down to the penthouse to do a little slumming. Hmm? This isn't a social call. I have business to discuss. Business requires trust. Trust must be earned. Ah, that's so cats both ways. It is dangerous to meet in the open like this. You risk too much. What's that? Germans! It's a fucking ambush. Take cover! Back in the fucking car! We're gonna need a car with a box in. Get us out of here! Hang on! How did the crowds know we'd be here? There might be a leak somewhere. Don't look at me. This meeting was your idea. Shut your traps, both of you. We're not out of this mess yet. Ding dong dong ding ding dong dong ding.
<laughs> Tune it. <laughs> Margot has died. What's that? Germans! It's a oh, uh, uh, Germans. In the fucking car! We need faster car. Get us out of here! Hang on! How did the crowds know we'd be here? There must be a leak somewhere. Don't look at me! This meeting was your idea. Shut your traps, both of you! We're not out of this mess yet! Oh my gosh, we will never escape with this type of car. Always, always have a guard somewhere. Looks like we lost them. We need to get out of the open. I told you it was not safe to meet like this. You would jeopardize the entire resistance with your foolish theatrics. Enough. We need a place where we can talk, some place secure. My headquarters is not far from here. Is it safe? It is the one place in the city where Germans don't dare to trek. Even the Nazis fear to walk among the dead. Christ, don't tell me it's another cemetery. 
I'm starting to get superstitious. <laughs> the oldest graveyard in the city, and a haven for fugitives since Roman times. We will be safe there. Excellent. There's no delay. We have much to discuss. Shite! Look! Over here! Get back in the fucking car! Only, only this bush, bullshit of car. Get us out of here! Hang on! How did the crowds know we'd be here? There must be a leak somewhere. Don't look at me! This meeting was your idea. Show your traps, both of you! We're not out of this mess yet! like we lost them. We need to get out of the open. I told you it was not safe to meet like this. You will jeopardize the entire resistance with your foolish theatrics. Enough. We need a place where we can talk, some place secure. My headquarters is not far from here. Is it safe? It is the one place in the city where Germans don't dare to tread. Even the Nazis fear to walk among the dead. Christ, don't tell me it's another cemetery. I'm starting to get superstitious. <laughs> the oldest graveyard in the city, and a haven for fugitives since Roman times. We will be safe there. Excellent. There's no delay. What is your name, Irishman? Devlin. Well, Mr. Devlin, you're a resourceful man. Stick around after the meeting. I may have some work for you. 